The topics we will be talking about is Ralph Ellison in Children's March. Ralph Ellison was a writer and many of his books went famous. Some of his books are Invisible Man, 1952, The Collected Essays of Ralph Ellison, 1995, Flying Home and Other Stories, 1997, Juneteenth, 1999, and he was married to Rose Poindexter, 1938-1943. to He grew up with his mother and his younger brother. She supported her small family by odd jobs. He was the grandson of a former slave. He was always in music, but at age 19, he went to Tuskegee for the trumpet. The Great Depression kept funds from coming in and sent him back. He spoke at the Liberty, the Library of Congress, 1964, Greetree Clark Whitetail Lectured, 1953, won award for Invisible Man, 1969, Medal of Freedom, and he also won the Medal of Arts, which was created in 1984 and used for artists and patrons, the highest award some anyone can receive for a book, and he got this for the, for the Invisible Man in 1952. And that is all. 50 years ago this month, Charles Avery left his high school in Jefferson County, Alabama to lead about 800 of his fellow students on a 10-mile walk to Birmingham City. They were stopped by the Sheriff's Department, arrested, and jailed. I was put in the paddy wagon with Dick Gregory, his writer said. Avery, who was 18 at the time and president of the senior class. I would never forget that day. In 1963, Birmingham was known as one of the most racist cities in the South. Martin Luther King Jr. had described it as a symbol of hardcore resistance to integration. Activists had nicknamed it Bombington because of the frequency of violent attacks against those fighting the system of segregation. Done by Matt and Amy. <laughs> what? 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 What?